Yo guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another Austin FC reaction video. Today we have the heartbeat of Austin, the ritual, which is another uh, of the videos that are posted on the Apple TV MLS season pass. We, we hear a lot about the heartbeat of Austin, the heartbeat of the club, but what does that exactly mean? And I hope this video is going to kind of explain that to us. Let's take a look and see what it's got going up for us. If you are new, hit that subscription. We do stream watch parties every single Austin FC game during the season. So if you guys do not want to buy the season pass, which I think is fairly priced uh, for every single game in the league, come by. Let me know. Stop by. Like the video if you like Austin FC. How about that? Go and make a deal. If you like Austin FC, you have to go down and like the video. That seems like a fair trade to me. You got that drum running. Boom, that heartbeat. It's like that sound that keeps us alive. That heart that keeps us together. We're like in unison, like we're in sync and that everyone is there to like show unfiltered passion and emotion. True. I've seen a lot of people say that Austin FC is one of the closest stadium vibes, community vibes of South American clubs. Let me know if you this agree with that down below. This drum was created or made in Guanajuato. We get drums from Argentina, we get drums from Mexico, like just places that where this culture has lived before. And we're bringing that soccer culture to Austin as well. We wanted we to have a local artist express that art. And Fabian is a master of his art. And just the way he expresses things, the way he uses words makes everything just pop and feel like it's in your face. Every single word in the drum, it's something that we want to make sense to that man of the match. Some word of support, something that they're gonna hear in the stands and that we want them to embrace. When I did the drum, I added verde hasta la muerte. I wanted to have like grito de guerra. You know what I mean? That, that's what I felt when I came up with the verde hasta la muerte. It was more like, yes, we're gonna be here until death. You know what I mean? We're gonna go very after true. it. Very Palante, true. I added too because it's the same. It's a word that is very forward thinking. It's like, yes, we might lose tomorrow, or, or but not today. Like, today we're gonna go through it. You know, like, palante, we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna go forward. La Mano de Dios, I added it because when I was a, a kid, I used to watch a lot of Argentinian games with my dad. He loves Argentina. And I added the hand of God because it was more like a tribute to, to Maradona, but it was a tribute to my dad, you know? And I felt okay. that, Austin of all places could have the hand of God. You know what I mean? Because we are a weird place. Okay. The hand of God was perfect for the beginning of the season, but now we saw a Stu doing all these beautiful things, helping us win that game. So I changed it to the hand of Stu because it felt I like that. it's part of the team. You know, that's that's yeah. that's history right there. You know, so True. the drum for me is a way of having a history like embracing the history, but at the same time, history has to move on and changes and, and you have to- History add. always changes. You know, some players second. have their rituals when they're about to shoot a PK of fixing their socks and doing the deep breaths and taking the same amount of steps. It's kind of like our ritual of getting ready for the game. It's everyone from field level to the media boost to 200s to supporter sections. During the, the beat, everyone's getting on that same boom, boom and then kick off game time and then just straight into the chance because it is 90 minutes of straight singing non-stop so it's like a quick just like breathe really quick and then let's go yeah i don't know i've, I've voiced my issue so with like our community section before i'm not gonna go into it barrios bringing yeah. that culture to austin and having a community band that plays at parades, they play at festivals, spreading our music and showing our love for the team. But at the same time, creating emotion and creating excitement for people, whether it's at Round Rock, at Pflugerville, at South Austin, it's a band for the whole city, but it's founded on the love for soccer. Yeah, you can definitely see that in the stadium and around town, around games.
not gonna say anything. This is one of the biggest issues I have. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it. Cuervos is the song with all the water throwing and beer showers. It's something that involves everyone because it isn't just beer, it's also water too. And I see kids get in their cups and all they want to do is just toss it up in the air. Most of the time it hits their parent in the face. But it just makes them feel really part of something bigger. Because you look at the supporter section and you don't see the individuals, you see the whole entire group right there. Once mm -hmm. we get to that part where the beer showers go off, you just see everybody's faces go crazy. And everybody knows, like, get down, get back up, water's in the air, and let's push the team forward. We have a live music environment in the stadium that is really powerful. We're the live music capital of the world, right? Like, yep. we're putting that into the pitch with whatever music we're putting out there. but. We're also adapting things that are relatable to Austin. The TIFOs have been great. TIFOs have been we great. We want the players to feel that passion, right? The ambition from that was a good one. one of us. The connection Got with it. the fans, right? And like, this is kind of right. a way for right. us to show them physically, hey, you know, we want to do as much as we can First to one. support. And that's kind of like what the TIFO yeah. embodies. The volume, yeah. the excitement. The Austin FC one. And the Austin one. And the, the commitment to seeing the entire game just feels like something that isn't necessarily done anywhere else in the States. It's more reminiscent of Mexico or South America. And yeah. that's what we're trying to embody, but you know, even go further than that, we're trying to show what we can do with our supporters. You can see it in the supporters' faces, this unfiltered passion and emotion that spews whenever, you know, the game is kicking off or even before the game. We're like in unison, like we're in sync. Everyone is there to like legitimately show our players and show the rest of the stadium that we're all in this together. It's a great moment after his hat trick. It's a connection that we feel and that we, we embrace, all of us. That's what I love about Austin, is that energy of the people. And you can see it on the team. Look at that. Nobody's going to give it to us. I was... got to go and go through them. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the beauty about the sport. Art is not like that. Music is not like that. But when you combine them with the sport, we're going to have to go through everybody. Look at that, the, the emotion on Ragoni's face. So I mean, it's just come in down, as well, and he sees it. Makes us even he feels it. That we're Austin, you know what I mean? Yes, we're about music. Yes, we're about art, but we're about kicking ass too. Fair. Again, the production team leaves me speechless on a lot of the stuff that that they uh, that they put out. I know a lot of this uh, you guys have seen already, but it, it's just to see the passion that both us as fans, us as artists, or them as artists, more you know, putting together. I have up here. You guys can't see it. I'll, I'll put a screenshot or just a picture of it. I've got the the one of the games I've been to, the Austin FC Dallas game up here. And then my dad brought up or gave to us the Portland Timbers uh, game from the 21st of, of August of last year. Sorry, first season, 2021. No, that would have been. Yeah, that would have been season one. Season one poster, and that's season two. Um, you know, I don't go to. I'm upset that they don't do posters for away games, but I understand it's a home game thing. So we've got two games that I've been to up there and just the artwork that is put together it shows the the pride that that we have as an austin community with this club um and i think that fair to austin lamarte is one of the best things that has come out of this is that everybody is in unison about something that we're all proud of and all happy with so yeah I, i'm super impressed by the production team and what they've done with apple tv i'm interested to see let me know down below what other clubs rituals or uh, profiles or anything like that I should watch personally both in my own time and then also let me know if there's any of them that you want to see here on the channel um, but that's gonna do it for me 
If you guys are new, like I said at the beginning, I stream all of the watch parties to games right here on YouTube. Please feel free to come by. Uh, we got a good crowd out here, good community that we put together. I get riled up, um, as a lot of you guys do in the stands or at home or anything like that. But yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But take care. I'm ready for season three, baby.